I do that about uh, once a week. Uh, I go get feed. Uh, shit. Go post stop recording. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm on my second cup of coffee. I was in there um, sharing a video and answering comments. I'm gonna sit out here and drink, um, drink some coffee with you guys. Uh, I did uh, watch a movie last night, Jurassic Hunt. Don't waste your time, folks. Uh, and I did wear my church socks. Um, they just call these church socks, I guess, when you pull them up like that. I did that to be funny, but actually they're pretty, pretty uh, comfy like that. I see why some people fall asleep in church. Um, I am uh, going to set this camera up so I can use both hands. That's what she said. Oh, and speaking of that's what she said. Some guy named Chris Atkinridge was telling me on a comment that... Uh, first comment I read something's wrong with the person I'm not sure they're envious or what but uh, the first comment I read they had said look at how many subscribers you have compared to your competition so naturally the first thing I'm looking at is this guy wants to compete he has two subscribers two and the guy's talking about my subscribers it's like over maybe 63.5 thousand. So that's almost 63.5 thousand more than this gentleman, uh, Chris, has. So I'm not sure where that even came from. Um, but then I saw the second comment right under the first comment. And let's go back to the two subscribers first. The two subscribers is probably his other two screen names that I probably blocked. Um, you can't block anybody from YouTube now, but if you write so many stupid comments, your comments get hidden from the channel. So you can comment all you want after that and you will think you're commenting, but nobody can see it. Not even me. So I don't waste my life on stupid comments. Um, the next comment was a poll he put a poll up on his own hey all to all you subscribers when this guy says that's what she said how do you feel about that should he keep saying that oh let me back up let me back up i did that so i don't have to put a special effect in there uh but um that was a rewind if you didn't know it was a rewind okay bad acting i'm good at it well, to all you subscribers, Chris wrote, uh, to all you subscribers, which I'm not anymore, okay, you're not a subscriber anymore. Then why the f are you on the freaking comment section still? I'm not the brightest bulb in, on the Christmas tree, but if I don't like something, I just don't click on it anymore. You know, you got two options, watch it or don't. But then at the end of that poll Chris put up, hey, what um, do you think he should still keep saying that? Uh, yes, a vlog is a video log of my life. I say it in real life, so why am I not going to say it on here? Uh, don't understand that at all. Chris, 
you unsubscriber you if you're still watching which i know you are because you can't get enough of this freaking awesome channel you and your other two screen names that you got as your subscribers thank you but okay i'm done ranting for today i'm gonna drink my coffee i'm gonna show you what i did in the she shed just got back from the trip of uh the mini trip of the kc fins uh, but in two or three days Bob and I are going to Dallas area, so we need to stay in hotel room for six nights, okay? It's October 6th through the 12th, uh, so please check my um, YouTube uh, community news to see about our trip or go to my website, www.thegarbagesposalstore.com, go to the events tab, and you'll see where we're at as well as Facebook, the garbage disposal page. Let me go, because I get all these freaking pop-ups on my phone. I'm trying to work here. I want to take you to the she shed. Um, I think I think Tasha and I, I think we have a lot of running around to do today. I'm not sure if I can get all the vlog. I'm going to try to get a couple things that we're doing and let you know. Uh, but I'm going to walk you to the she shed. Uh, I do have the final she shed reveal done if you... Uh, if you did, uh, didn't see that, I forgot what vlog number it is, but, uh, ended up, it's kind of junked up right now because I've been doing some, um, more work in here. Um, I actually was going to put a vent up here going outside to blow, to get all the hot air out of here. Um, but the lean to only goes to here. So I can't cut a hole in there and put it out because I wanted to put it under the lean to blowing out. So what I did was buy two big rolls of insulation and uh, put insulation up all on the top. And I'm, and I'm probably not going to drywall that because it's too late. I wanted to, uh, but she said she just wanted to, you know, she didn't even want this area here, but I wanted that. So when she videotapes, look, it looks like a, a room. Okay. So when you videotape and do that, you won't see all this. I did uh, put that down that direction. So it blocks off there. So, uh, Hey, it works, okay? And the people's like, hey, it's gonna be itch, itchy in here. Like, uh, the itchy side is up, okay? <sighs> okay. That's what she said. <laughs> Chris? Chris? Yes, that was for you, Chris Atkin Ridge, or whatever your freaking name is. All right. Okay, uh, maybe I can get the chickens to run over here. Um, usually they know. They know who feeds feeds them, so they do run up. They make my 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 little chicken call. Peacock! Peacock! Oh, there it goes. That one's the loudest. It always does. There you go. They're running. Peacock! Hey! Oh. There goes the more zombies. Look at them. Look at them dinosaurs. All them raptors. Oh. Yeah. Hey, how you ladies doing? I'm going to have to be a pimp in a minute. A pimp and say, where's my eggs? Where's my eggs? You holding back on my eggs? Okay. Well... Um, as you're seeing this, I think they're probably laying eggs right now. Um, this video is like three weeks back. Um, I'm getting enough videos so when I go on my trip, I can already have it edited so you guys can continually have videos almost every day, if not every day. Um, but uh, speaking of the trip, we are taking donations, and I do, I, I am uh, doing that because there's two. Two got Bob and I um, are trying to do a trip to Dallas for you guys because all you wanted to see another trip, so we were bringing one to you. Um, and yes, I'm blaming Bob um, because I can sleep in a car. And I, I'm subcompact. I'm short. I can sleep in my car, but Bob is a is a, a couple feet taller than me, and his head would be kinked up like this trying to sleep in the car, so naturally if uh, we don't get donations that's fine i'm just asking for a little help if if you can't do it i'll end up paying for it maybe chris alt alt alter ridge i can ridge uh whatever can maybe send some money since he likes the channel so much and he's still watching 
uh, the four-wheeler deal, I did uh, get that bolted down. I got some rebar. Um, you can buy some stakes to stake stuff down. It's like $4 a stake, uh, not an eating stake, a stake, S-T-A-K-E, um, to, to secure something to the ground there. Um, well, I bought some rebar for like $1.20 a piece uh, from Amazon. Uh, I will probably put that on my, my website. So if you go to the website, www.thegarbagepuzzlestore.com, you'll see my Amazon recommendations of stuff that I think is, is uh, good for the money that's on there. And it's a, a, good, a good deal. But I, I did it like a candy cane. I bent it down. I, I beat them into the ground, like two foot strips. I beat them to the ground, bent them over, and secured it. So, okay, off to the next thing. Go to post-op recording. I'm out here um, feeding the chickens, guys. I have some corn left over that was in the refrigerator. Um, I, I think I only got them for like 22 cents a piece. Um, so I had like uh, eight corn left. Um, so what I'm gonna do is feed these loud freaking chickens. Hold on a minute, I'm talking. Uh, and then uh, head to the post office and then head to the stores. Uh, Tasha's still sleeping. Um, she usually, she's used to working nights and sleeping until like 12 to 1 in the morning. Uh, 1 in the afternoon. Afternoon? Yes, it's afternoon. Um, and then um, uh, working nights. So I'm going to be chopping this corn up freaking sharp. This is very sharp, guys. I have three of them. I have one over here, one in back of the she shed, and one by the garden so I can um, get the okra and everything. But uh, I will cut this corn and hopefully not my fingers. And um, I will see you at the post office with all my fingers. I'm confident of that. Okay guys, got my mail. Um, as I was walking out, there's a place across the street. Uh, Tosh and I actually got some um, food. It might have been a half an hour or an hour before they closed. Um, but opening hours are opening hours. If you're open, you're open. Um, and I left on Hernando's Happening on Facebook. I left a, a, a review there, um, but I didn't do a food review. I thought I was being nice by not bashing them on a food review on YouTube. Uh, but we got some cold food, hard. It's killed three times, not twice. It was killed three times, like it was uh, warmed up. And it was not seasoned good. So I did note that on the Hernandez was happening. And uh, they was like, you don't tell everybody that you got bad food the first time. You go again if it happens again. Like, I'm not going back the second time. If the first time was crap, why would I want to spend more money on crap? No, I got enough fertilizer for the garden from the chickens. Um, but yeah, it's called, um, what, what is that place called? Happy Days with a Z. Happy Days Dairy Bar. And um, somebody commented that they've been around longer than I've been alive. I'm like, yeah, I think they have because the burger that I got seemed like it was sitting around longer than I've been alive. So, yes, when I get ignorant comments, I, I handle them accordingly. Um, I don't know why everybody's mad at me because I got bad food from the place. Get mad at them. Just because they got good food and good service at that time, they got it. I didn't. So am I supposed to lie about it and say it was good? No, I'm not. 
not that kind of person. Um, and then uh, somebody said, don't go a half hour before they close. Like, then don't be open. You don't, you're not, if you're open, you're open. It's open or closed, not middle ground. Like, eh, we're closing 30 minutes. Don't come up, don't come up here. We're, we're cleaning up. No, it's, it's, that doesn't happen, folks. So we don't go places, you know, that was just on the way home when uh, we was going home that night. Uh, it wasn't like, hey, I'm going to wait till the last possible second so they got to fire up that grill and get everything dirty again to get our burger. No, I didn't do that. Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of rude comments from the place. I'm like, why are you being mad at me? I'm uh, I'm not the bad guy here. And maybe they do got good food, but the time I went, no. The first and only time I've ever went, no, it was not good food. So happy days, D-A-Z-E in Hernando. No, I don't know what to say. But I go to Hernando Happenings, uh, just stuff that happens around Hernando, duh, on Facebook. And now I get blocked every now and then. Uh, just they're nitpicking on me because I gave a restaurant that they liked a bad review. So, I don't, maybe I do need to review the place, huh? Maybe I should. And if I review them and the food's extra freaking exceptional, I will say that. But then I will, on the same note, I will say it's not consistent if it is. Because, yes, I'm not going to say it again. Yes, I am. It's, it was killed three times. Unacceptable. Uh, there was something else that somebody had commented on there that was uh, really rude, um, but uh, I don't remember it. I have to go back and check. I might have did some screenshots. Let me see. If I have screenshots, I'll put them up right now. Um, but I'm going to run to a couple more stores. Uh, I have uh, have to go pick up some sand from the umbrella base because I put water in the other one. I'm going to drain that, dry it out, put sand in it so it doesn't freeze in the wintertime. Um, and I need to stop by Walmart to get some lemon cake mix. Um, so I will do that now um, and wait for Tasha to get up. So see ya. Go post stop recording. Hey, got back uh, with the sand and I do put a tarpoleum, um, like for painting and stuff, the, the tarps. I put the, the cloth tarp down in my car. I have that in there all the time, but uh, these bags of sand kind of leaked out, so I went ahead and uh, vacuumed the car. It needed it, and while I was at it, hey, what a, what would a good boyfriend do? I'll vacuum hers, hers as well. So if I find any change, whoever vacuums and washes clothes and finds money, it's theirs, okay? It's just a rule. It's an unwritten rule that's what happens, right? Okay, if you agree with me, comment below. If you don't agree with me, don't comment at all, please. Don't. <laughs> Reverse psychology, you're going to do it anyway. Okay. Uh, but I am going to get these bags and put them in said containers for the umbrella because the umbrella is weighted down at the bottom. Um, I'll show you real quick. I put water in these, but I'm going to take this out and drain them and put those in. Uh, we got to take the other one back because it's not working. Uh, it is broke, so we got a new one real quick. Uh, at another store and we'll go drop the other one off uh, like I said in the winter time water in there will freeze so this you can keep that in there all the time now you don't have to drain it and worry about uh, it cracking and and, um, and expanding when the when the temperature drops below the freezing so this is a lot better um, to do. It's a lot of little, it's work right now but in the long run it's less work because you don't have to keep doing it every year drain it and everything else so let me get that and all this, see all this horsepower right here, this raw freaking sweat. I'm, um, I'm sweating some calories off. Don't know if we're going to go eat later. I'm not sure, but I got work to do. And it is freaking uh, almost fall. So guess what I'm doing? I'm planting greens, um, lettuce. You can plant stuff twice a year in, in the spring and in the fall of certain items. So... It might still be time where you're at. You can still plant some stuff. So look it up and see when the last frost is and see if you can get it in. Uh, that, that's what she said, Chris. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, that done, done lost through me for a loop. Uh, 
the last frost. What else was I going to say? It must have been a lie because I cannot remember it. Uh, shoot. I'll be back in a second. I'll remember as soon as I shut this off. Go to post stop recording. Update what I, what I didn't remember earlier. Still don't remember. Sorry. I'm getting old. You got to remember your lies. So it must have been a lie. Okay. Onward. Onward. Go post stop recording. Hey, uh, it's about to rain. I got the uh, lettuce. Uh, I got the red, uh, the iceberg, uh, the crispy green. Um, I have the uh, turnip greens, mustard greens, collard greens planted just in time because if you hear that, it's not my stomach rumbling. It is about to rain. So hopefully it ain't pouring down too much where the seeds get drifted off. Uh, it is supposed to rain for the next three days here and there. So hopefully. As I was saying before, before I was really interrupted, uh, this GoPro had 37% battery life left. So when you hook up like an external mic to it, um, it after about two thirds battery life, it, it uh, shuts down on you when it has a third left. But uh, I did get uh, a lot of stuff done today. The major thing I wanted to do today was get uh, these voices out of my freaking mouth. <clears throat> Jesus. The major thing I wanted to do today was uh, get the uh, the greens and the lettuce planted before it rained, and I did do that. Uh, I got the sand in the umbrella uh, bottom, so I did get that done. I ran to a couple, uh, I went to the post office, I ran to a couple other Walmarts. Uh, I edited two videos today. Uh, what else? I walked Luna around. Uh, we walked in the yard for a bit. Uh, and some other junk. I forget everything I do around here, guys. I washed a load of clothes. You don't want to hear all that. Uh, but uh, I am probably going to shut this down right now. I'm going to run to Philip Wolf's house. You might see him in this vlog. I'll bring this camera with me. Um, I'm not one to shove cameras in people's faces, but if he wants to talk for a second on uh, this uh, vlog, then I will uh, graciously uh, have him on here because he, uh, he had... His wife, Michelle, has some pallets, uh, a little kid swimming pool that I can use for the chickens, and a couple other things. I think some little totes, like vegetable totes that collapse, uh, that you can put vegetables in or just anything in, and it collapses if you don't need to use it uh, for storage. Uh, so uh, we'll see, but I'll talk to you later. Go post stop recording. Hey folks, I'm at Phil's house. Uh, Philip Wolf, come on over here and say hi to him. Hey, how you doing? Hey, he is not high, guys. I have to say that because everybody, hey, his eyes look like he's been smoking. <laughs> well, it's not. It, it's I think are they sensitive to light? A little bit. And he's supposed to wear and, glasses. And probably. Whenever I smile, they just they squint up. Yep, he's Chinese. He's half Chinese. Okay, he's albino Chinese. There you go. But tall. <laughs> Uh, but uh, here is the um, pallets that I've been getting from his wife. Uh, she's been getting those. Uh, they throw them away at work. But uh, I think that uh, I can use that. And Tasha might do some arts and crafts in her uh, she shed. So uh, what's he gonna do? Like it? I don't know. I got to keep on asking her what she's doing. I think she has to get kind of pushed into doing some stuff. Friendly and, persuasion. Yeah. Well, I think <laughs> what it is. I, th I think that it, it's like. Some people are different than my brain is like, just jump in there and jump do it. And if it. I fail, who cares? I'll Hit do something miss. else. A lot of people want to be perfect about stuff so they don't want to start it. So I think that's what she does with her videos. So it takes her a and long it's time. it's never going to be perfect. No, no. You can't be like me. Didn't happen you don't want to be didn't, like me. Didn't happen overnight. Show me shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, look, yeah. Look. See? It's backwards. But his daughter came out and said, hey. <laughs> We was just in the middle of talking. Out the blue, she wants to just jump in the middle and say, hey, is your shirt on backwards? I say, why, it sure is. But uh, Thanks for noticing. Yeah, she was like, well, she was wondering why. I tell people, because it bothers people. People have to comment about it. So basically, I do do it because of the... Uh, uh, the, the sports teams, I just put it backwards so I don't get off of the sports or uh, if, like a Budweiser um, or... Uh, any kind of Nike or something I wear, I just don't do that. But then I got to figuring out that it bothers people. So I like to I like to push buttons every now and then. Makes so, the world go around. Yep. So uh, somebody's got to do it. But other than that, I think uh, Phil just got off work, and I don't have a real job, so I don't know how he feels. He, he's tired, he said. So 
I, I could I don't I can't even relate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was out Two different there. worlds. Yeah, I already told them what I was doing today. I probably forgot half the stuff I was doing, uh, but I do got to go live, so I'm going to get home, get this stuff uh, put away, and then get set up for the live. So uh, please check that out, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you haven't been sitting in your easy chair all day. No, I, I don't think I've <laughs> sat down yet today, except in the truck, because you got to sit down to drive unless you're a garbage man. You see what I did there? Well played. Well played. <laughs> Okay. Just snuck it in. Yeah, that's what she said, Chris. Oh yeah, I, I've been saying Chris all day today because some guy, he's unsubscribed now apparently, but he's still commenting. Like if you're unsubscribed, then get lost, Chris. Well, Chris says he he puts he he actually stop watching the channel and says he's unsubscribed, but he puts a poll up, his own poll, saying, "Hey, all you subscribers, which I'm not anymore." Who all thinks that he needs to stop saying the garbage? So stop saying that's what she said. Like, who cares if you're unsubscribed? So I, I have to say, all, all I forgot his name already. Alkaline, Alki Ridge, something like that. But it's unimportant because he's subscribed. He's unsubscribed now. Get lost. He's out of here. Yep. Okay, let me get out of here. It rained a little bit, um, and we got to get home um, and put the chickens away before it gets uh, too late and uh, go live. Putting the chickens away. Yeah, put chickens up. Well, one side doesn't have automatic, the automatic door. You know, the uh, I got the automatic door on the bigger chickens, but the other man door, that's the other one month Luna, the Luna's group. So The prestigious. Yeah, I will get, yeah, I have to go every night. I have to go in and put them up, but... Uh, in about a month, all those can just be let out by themselves, and then the other ones that are only a month old now are being are going to be where Loon is at. So, oh, and one of these pools, I got a swim pool there that they had got. Uh, so that's going with the bigger chickens, and the swim pool I got out that's smaller than this was going where their smaller chickens are at. So, all of us going to good use. So, okay, anything you'd like to add? Any? I'm good. You said That's it all. I said, I said, said it enough. All. Like I'm going to try to sneak a word in. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, guys, I'll see you at the house. Hey, folks. I'm about to tell you good night, and I will see you tomorrow probably on the same uh, vlog. Uh, Luna was in here, but the diaper thing, she's having problems with her her diaper, and it's, it's just causing her problems. She's flopping around like a fish. Chickens usually don't do that, and uh, she's... Uh, walking backwards instead of forward. She's, she does it off and on. Uh, must be something um, I'm, that I'm doing wrong to put the diaper on, but I've been putting on the exact same way. I tried it five different times, but I had to put her out there. I'll go get her after the live, but I do have to go live, so I have to do my job first, and then I'll go get her later. And um, if the diaper don't work, usually I set her on her perch in there, and uh, she's okay on her perch because she has a box down there. She, it drops right in uh so she won't need the diaper then but uh let me get set up here and i will see you guys tomorrow go post stop recording good morning everybody um just let the chickens out i've been up for a couple hours uh it's only Wow, they're already starting in in there. I was looking to see if a, a hawk was out there, but it wasn't. Sorry, there's not good uh, lighting out here because the freaking sun ain't up, okay? I don't have any control of that. Um, but it's uh, it's around 6.30 maybe, but I've been up a couple hours just uh, getting stuff done on the internet. Um, and uh, Tasha went to uh, the casino last night. Uh, she, she actually... I didn't ask her if she won a lot of money because she made it home, so uh, she didn't win enough to to, to leave the United States and uh, start a new life. So uh, I take it she didn't win much, but uh, she went with uh, Terrence and uh, his wife Danielle. It was uh, her birthday. I'm not really much of a gambler, so I'd rather keep the money I don't even have. Uh, you have to have money to gamble with. So um, I chose to stay at home and keep all the money I don't have. Uh, but I'm going to head on out and do my little running around and getting stuff from the stores. Uh, uh, I saw a sale on Miracle Whip. 
Uh, it's a dollar off, um, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. And that store is only like $3.25, so that's pretty cheap for um, uh, America Whip. Uh, if you guys don't know anything about America Whip and don't don't even like America Whip, don't even buy America Whip, you don't have to comment, okay? You don't have to say, oh, mayo. Well, I have to eat the freaking sandwich, and I want America Whip, okay? Uh, but for two twenty five, dollars yes, I'm stocking up on like 10 or 20 jars. I finally got done with the Pennsylvania jar that we got, the big gallon jug of America Whip that we got um, when we went to go see Bob. Uh, so, uh, oh, speaking of Bob, he got his airplane ticket yesterday. Uh, so he'll be here on the 5th. We're leaving out early at 8 a.m. on the 6th and headed to uh, Arkansas. Um, and then we're headed to Dallas. But we're passing through Arkansas, going to do a challenge. Um, and he's going back on the, th I want to say the 12th. So we're going to plan uh, a challenge on the 11th here in Memphis. And uh, then I'll take them to the airport the next day. So uh, with that said, guys, I will start my day off. And I'm not going to take this GoPro. I'll take the GoPro with me just in case I'm live on the scene. It's something crazy that happens. But I'm not, really, not going to, like, uh, take a video of every single thing I'm going to do. I always say that. And then, bam, you see a video of every thing, single thing I'm going to do. Um, okay. Well. See you when I see you. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. Hey, um, I just got back from the stores. I actually went out to eat for breakfast for the first time in like two years at a Golden Corral. So I did do the uh, Horn Lake Golden Corral. I'll put the uh, pictures and the videos up right now for you. I got back home, it's still raining. It's been raining all day, um, but I'm gonna put my swimming trunks on. It's not gonna stop me. I'll put my swimming trunks on and go out here and build a little pavilion for the other 30 pound feeders that I bought. I'm gonna put two more on the other side because I'm about to switch all the chickens around uh, when I go to uh, Texas. So I bought another automatic door so the smaller chickens can come in and out uh, all day as well and I don't have to uh, go out there every single day and let them out um, in the morning uh, so that is a good thing um, it's like $160 but for $160 for for it, it works well that's why I bought it I am not sure what happened to this uh, GoPro it actually has 60% battery life left so I'm not sure why it said battery low I had to cut it off so I did take the microphone off and I'm using the shotgun mic on there. So hopefully the rain's not too loud for you. Uh, but as I was saying, I'm not gonna let the rain stop me. Um, I did buy uh, another um, uh, automatic chicken door from Chicken Guard. It's on my website, www.thegarbagepulsestore.com. Look under Amazon or recommendations. Uh, and uh, it's under, I think it's chickens or miscellaneous, probably under chickens. Uh, but uh, it is $162, but for uh, th what it does, uh, every single... As I was rudely interrupted again by this GoPro, I put another SD card in there, the bigger 256 mega, uh, gigabyte. Um, but I, bet, I guess 
that is not working good with the GoPro 9. Um, so I put the 128 gigabyte back in. Uh, for some reason it's acting up. Uh, hopefully that was the reason or they just come out with the GoPro 10. Maybe they put some upload uh, program on here so it messes it up a little bit so people want to go buy the new GoPro 10 uh, but uh, I did look at the GoPro 10 but um, I'm gonna wait till it, it goes down maybe get, get it in six months wait till it goes down maybe a hundred dollars I don't, I don't need it right away uh, it, it is a little bit better they have a lot of different they can do 240 frame rates per second at 2.7k um, they can go all the way up to 120 frame rates per second at 4k this one does up to 60 frame rates per second so it looks better slow motion if you uh if you shoot in that but enough of that like I said, I'm going to put my swimming trucks on. I'm not letting the rain uh, detour me, deterred. I'm not going to be deterred uh, from the rain. So I'm um, putting that on, make a pavilion for the smaller chicken sacks. I got the chicken guard that I talked about three times, I think. Um, but that door automatically comes up and down. So I have two of those, one for the bigger side, one for the smaller side. Uh, and then when they all get big enough that I only need one door, then I'll take the other door off and just use that as a spare. Uh, but for right now, um, let me get changed. I'm going to go do that outside in the rain, so I'm not going to get any footage of that. Uh, you'll just have to have to believe me. Uh, but I'm making that pavilion so I can put the 30-pound feeders under there uh, so they can be um, have food um, all the time um, when they come in and out the automatic door if I'm not here, if I'm gone for like five or six days like I'm about to be for Texas. So I'm gearing up for that. So, see you when I get back. Go pull. Stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Now here's the um, the other pavilion that I, that I made first. Um, I still have to do the deer uh, fencing to drape it down so the raccoons can't get to it. Uh, but I put that board down there at the bottom and then I put that brick flopped over there uh, at nighttime. So uh, I, have, I have both sides like that so they can't, hey, I'm talking here. But uh, I am um, doing this one right here. This one I got half price. Uh, I found the Bucks Bargain over here in um, uh, South Haven. They actually have these for $15 instead of 30. So whatever the price is, is it is half. All this is, it didn't have this handle. That's all. Uh, so I just rigged up me um, some wire that I had and put that fastener on there and I got a handle so for $15 um, this one I did buy those for a dollar the, the lids so I do have lids for the other one for these right here so I'm going to be doing that but I'll show you the uh, I'll show you in there what I did uh, but I uh, I have some scraps here some green beans they're purple purple beans purple whole peas or whatever you want to call them uh, they're they're purple beans, uh, but uh, I um, just parade some tomatoes up and made some pasta sauce and jarred it up. We got about uh, 15 to 20 jars in there already already uh, pareed and uh, and jarred up. I canned them so they're good for about a year and a half. Uh, but we'll use those this uh, this winter. But here is the pavilion they have. I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna hang one here and hang one here. So I have two over here. Uh, there's only gonna be 20 in here and about, by the time you see this, th there's only gonna be 20 in here, well 19, um, because I'm transferring, I am transferring the ones that's in here, the Luna's, Luna's group, the middle size chickens. The middle size ones are going with the big ones. So there's gonna be uh, 85, 86, I have, 66 66 of the bigger ones and then on this side i'll have 19 so i'll have 85 all together um so uh, the chicken door i don't know if you saw this one the automatic chicken door uh, i told you i ordered another one but uh i am going to put that door on this side and put a ramp down there so that those chickens could come in and out um, every day especially when we're gone uh when we're gone to dallas uh 
then uh, I think we're leaving Dallas in like two days as you're seeing this. We'll be gone on October the 6th. So by the time you're seeing this, we're pretty much about to uh, head out to, uh, to go to Dallas. So the chickens can go in. I think Tasha's going to Florida. She's going somewhere for somebody's, uh, not funeral, but somebody's wedding. It's the funeral of being single. How about that? I just made that up. You can use it if you want. But uh, the chickens are liking the top of there. Luna, Luna is very adventurous. She's up there. And then her friend, this is the, one of the biggest chickens of the middle group. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'll put the, the, the chicken guard uh, door. It's called chicken guard, but I'll put that door there. I uh, already have the bricks over here. I have the bricks over here and I have these uh, four by four posts to put down so I can go ahead and make it just like that one over there and I'll get the deer fencing and, and drape it over there. But let me feed them the scraps that I got here from me doing this and there you go. I'll let you watch them feast and then I'll go inside. Hey, Luna, you trying to get on camera? <laughs> Luna is very particular. Luna is very particular. I'll show you when I get inside what I'm talking about. But uh, she likes her stuff diced up. So she's waiting for me to cut it up, but I'm not doing it out here. She's going to have to be a chicken. Go for a stop recording. Yes, I'm ready for Luna to come in later. So when she comes in, I already have her... Uh, tomatoes diced up, her uh, mango, her grapes, and her corn. I had to chop off the, uh, the cob, okay? And she does like rice, so I have rice in here. Once I do this, she, she comes running, uh, and she likes ramen noodles. So I have ramen noodles in there. We don't put any seasoning in there. I did put a little bit of garlic powder in the, the rice soup because garlic powder, um, garlic helps fight uh, parasites in chicken. So I did put a little bit of garlic in there. Um, here are two of the uh, jars that I got left. I left out so you guys can see. I named it Tata's Spicy Pasta Sauce and I put the date on it. So if you don't know what FIFO is, FIFO, first in, first out. Uh, but fee five full fun, whatever you, whatever. I know you was thinking it. Okay. But, uh, I think she went to the store to get some, um, some food for tonight. Um, I didn't want to waste these green beans. So I went ahead and cooked, uh, some green beans. No, it's not the stir fried, boiled, candied, b uh, beef, bouillon, green beans that I made last time. It's, it's just regular green beans with a couple regular seasons in it. Um, but when she gets back, I think she's doing some kind of fried salmon. Like I'm getting older, I need to bake stuff with lemon juice everywhere and thyme or something. I don't know what you do when you get old. You just start using lemon juice and thyme on everything. But I think she's frying some salmon, some salmon. So we'll, uh, we'll see when she gets back. I'll, I'll finally get her on this video, okay? Because she's been in and out. She uh, woke up and I was gone this morning. Uh, and then now she's gone to go cook while I was out there in the yard working in the rain. So uh, I'm going to meet her too today. So I will uh, meet her with you guys. So I will see you then. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Well, I thought, I thought you'd get to see Tasha. Uh, I don't get to see her either yet, so I don't know what she's doing. She's probably went to the boat again, I'm not sure. When I say boat, I mean a casino, because in St. Louis, all the casinos have to be on the, the water, so they call them boats. Okay, I had to put that insert in there. That's what I said. Okay, okay, now back to the regular schedule program. Uh, but I cleaned the, the gutters on the other side of the house and right here. 
Uh, I'm usually productive, uh, so if I have everything done today and there's nothing else to do, I look at tomorrow's schedule and see uh, what I have because if you guys do not clean your gutters, uh, it starts dripping, it'll back up, it'll start dripping uh, like all over here and maybe cause problems down here. Uh, the main purpose of that downspout is to get the water away from your house, away from your house. Uh, but uh, a lot of people do not do that. Uh, during the summer, you might want to check it once a month. Um, during the fall months, like right now, set your reminders to every week, every two weeks, just depending on how many trees you have um, by your house. But you, you want to periodically check them uh, if you can or have somebody to do it. Uh, and speaking of trees, I have a lot of pecans, pecans, or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I have this little, it's a peak. Pecan bingo, bingo pecan roll thing. It's like a, a, a bingo, like you play bingo. Oh, B3. But uh, no, this, this picks up, uh, it actually picks up pecans really, really well. Uh, I'll show you real quick. I do this on probably a daily basis when I have nothing else to do. I'll come get pecans off the ground. Let me put the microphone down closer you said equipment here you go there you go see they're in there just go right over them and they get trapped in the in the roller so just get a kid and hey so I tell them it's a game just fill up the pecans just go around find them all this is the time of year where the Squirrels are eating a lot of pecans that's on the ground. There we go. See, already have that many and just uh, started off. So uh, let me get some more of these and maybe next time when I turn this on, you'll see Tasha in your face. You still watching? Go post stop recording. I told them they're gonna see you in their face next time because I didn't. They didn't see you on this vlog yet, yesterday and today. So I, I see. I finally saw her too. Uh, but she did look. Look what she just brought back. She went to the store for that salmon stuff, and uh, she found the apple thrasher that Randy Harmon's been talking about. That told me about that. So I do want to thank him for that and. Did you find something extra? Some Oreos? No. That's New ones? Oh. That's for slutty Oh, brownies. look what she found though. Found though. Yeah, she's making slutty brownies. She makes some, uh, she might do a recipe on that on her channel too as well. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. And uh, hey, peanut butter pies, best snack around. Uh, I like nutter butter cookies, but the best snack, this right here, peanut butter pies. So thank you very much. Um, and I did tell them, I don't know why I'm this fat. You probably think that too, right? No, because she knows I, I don't just sit around scratching my nuts all day. No, no, I'm talking about these. I got my nuts. I don't go around scratching them all day long. They, uh, but I don't know why I'm this fat either, guys, but I, I it ain't like I'm just sitting around scratching my nut, nunchucks. Is that better? My nunchucks. <laughs> um, but, uh, I did the gutters I, I just told you about, got the pecans, pecans, uh, and then I'm going to probably uh, uh, dry my, my horsepower off my face. Sweat, raw sweat, horsepower, they know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, I, I make show, I'll show pictures of what she's cooking later uh, when we get done. I'll show pictures and wrap this vlog up. Uh, but um, let, me, let me get all these dank not damp not dank dank clothes or dank dank is that smelling nasty dank <coughs> yeah yeah she's just agreeing with me okay <laughs> all right well we'll see you with the food in your face
guys, if you cut the um, pilot light off and you have the grease still hot, get a potato. Potatoes are really cheap. Um, cut it into four, uh, just the quarters, and throw it in there, and that cools the grease down quicker. Just leave it in there. You can throw those away later. It's, it's cheap. It's like three cents an ounce for potatoes, but that helps you save your grease. You're welcome. I'm high now. That's oh, you are? Okay. Well, the chair was high. Guys, uh, we are about to feast on this uh, salmon. This is my video. Oh, but your video. This is salmon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to say salmon for the rest of this video, okay? We're about to feast on this salmon that Hayashi had uh, brilliantly made here. Uh, we was going to use that, but I put the picture in now why we're not using it. Yeah, I have to take that back. The rumelade sauce was wrong. Wrong rumenade. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I guess you're going to um, let us know what you all did here. You all. I don't believe you people. Huh? What do you mean, you people? It was just let you all know what you did here. <laughs> Basically, I, I did um, fried salmon bites. Um, I did two different ones. The ones on this side are garlic, well, Creole garlic butter, and the ones on this side are Hidden Valley Ranch. And of course, these are just regular steak fries. With what on it? Um, just, just some seasoning, seasoning. some uh, mixed up salt. Oh. This, this chair is broke. I wonder why. No, it's the bottom. It's the whales at the bottom. That's all it is. It's cheaply made. Not for fat people. I said it. There, I said it. No, it's for not you. made for anybody to throw their weight around. Like in other stuff. It's, it's like swivels. In, it's in a freaking boats, swivel chair. In Look. boats and all that other stuff. You ain't supposed to just... Boats and... Uh, <laughs> okay, let's get to the... Let's just... Try this out. Anyhow. Okay. But I've never done this before. I've been wanting to do it for a while. But, uh. Okay. Yeah, but Small. I guess I need to do it for my video. Oh. You want me to stop this one then? You don't have to. Okay. I can stop this one and start back. Go for stop not recording. Use, no. It's not stopped anymore. Yeah, no, I'm saying because I may not use this part anyway i may just do the recipe and not put oh. this in so okay i'm concerned about your eye yeah yeah i feel it but i was trying to get this done before this all happens because okay. i'm already going to yeah, this one i i put up with we have fried salmon bites on this side we have hidden valley ranch um bites and on this side we have creole garlic butter i may put pictures in of the seasonings that i used um, we have steak fries and we made up like our own tartar well, tartar sauce. Tartar version of rumelade sauce, yeah. Tartar rumenade. We made a <laughs> dipping sauce. So well, we as in I. He helped with the idea, I guess. You ain't gonna throw me in the bus. But uh <laughs> first let's taste let's taste the Hidden Valley Ranch ones. Sure. Why are you looking like that? Somebody mixed them up already. It's right there. Look, the light, light one. Okay. You ready? Try it without it? Yeah. Good for my people. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is good. Did you want to do a close up of yours or no? No. No? I want to dip it in the sauce. That is good. I'm getting older, and um, I think you're not supposed to fry stuff all the time. And salmon's supposed to be something you don't fry, and you fry it. It's okay. You can have. But it's good. I mean, it's good. It's, it's really good. It's different too. I've never had uh, fried salmon. Have you ever even heard anybody doing it? Salmon croquettes. The closest thing I've had to it. No. That's fried salmon. Let's and try now this one. the Creole, the garlic butter one. Ooh I guarantee that for the air, huh? Woo! I was gonna say that. What's that one guy? Is this the, the Creole guy? I don't know. 
Yeah, who dare you? What's it? A girl on tape. Oh, that's good meat. So tender. That meat so tender. A girl on tape. But that. Did he say that all the time? Too, you, you, I just said, I don't know who that is. Uh -oh. You asked me what he said. It's this Cajun chef. Okay. You guys know who I'm talking about. I take your word about. for it. Okay. These are the garlic butter ones. Okay. Ready? It tastes very buttery. It's weird. It's very buttery. But I don't know. I think I'm fan. I, was, I thought I'd be a fan of this one more, but I think I'm a fan of that one. I like the the richness of the butter at the end, but uh, I actually it needs like a little salt on it, maybe. Maybe I didn't want to because I used with the Hidden Valley Ranch ones. I didn't want the seasoned batter to overpower that, so I used the unseasoned batter. Well, I didn't want to say it needed salt because I live with you. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> but no, this is supposed to be seasoned batter, so I didn't. Want oh, to you didn't over season it and be real yeah. salty. Okay, I understand. I don't need a lot of salt anyway. But I like them. I'm please a pass the jelly. Would you please pass the jelly? The uh, Louisiana. Put honey in this. Really good. Some parts is seasoned more than others. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's not consistent. It's like Burger King's hand breaded chicken. It's not consistent. That's good. I would do this again. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, on my vlog, I'm going to end this right now, but uh, thank you for watching this vlog. Uh, thank you for even being in this one. She she made an appearance at the very end of this <laughs> vlog, so. I made an appearance. Yeah. Well, I was going to say something else to wrap this vlog up, and I forgot. But she did bring me my receipts back that from Kroger, and, and she found, I already said, I, she found the Apple Mountain Dew, so we're going to do a review on that. It might be out already. If not, please uh, hold your horses. But if you didn't check my descriptions, there's a lot of use, use I was going to say useless information. It could, it depends who you are. But the, uh, it's useful information if you ask me, but uh, the Fetch app is in there. All you have to do is follow that, download the app, and you click that uh, on the descriptions, and you will see that you can get free gift cards. I think I've already got o over probably $500 worth of the gift cards because every time you scan these, these right here got 300-something points just for these three receipts. So this one here, you would think you get a lot. I think you got a... Yeah, I did get a lot on this. I got 149 just on this one alone. But uh, it's like a game in itself, you know. Click it. But uh, you don't even have to pay for anything. You can find these. You can find these and say, hey. Yeah, because uh, um, two of them are, I found them. Yep. So you can find those and take 28 pictures a week of stuff you found and not even bought. Just take a picture of it. Yeah, because people it. normally throw their receipts away right there at the self-scan yeah. thing. So. so, but uh, yeah, just uh, follow that. If you sign up, I think you get 2,000 free points for just signing up when you click your first uh, receipt. So, all right, well, I'm done. I'm going to eat some more of this croquettes. And these aren't croquettes. Salmon bites. <laughs> Salmon bites. These are really good. Yes. I see. You're getting more. Okay, well, I'm going to shut up so I can, I can eat too. So, see you later. Go post, stop recording. Go post, stop recording. Okay, I'm in here um, getting um, this footage downloaded, but I forgot to tell you while we was talking, and she said she was worried about my eye. My eyeball feels like it's closing up. I had some kind of bug get in and outside. Um, not knowing that Luna didn't do this, uh, but she was actually, excuse me, just eating, excuse me, on my shoulder. She was just on my shoulder while I was eating. Come to find out, Luna is... Definitely my chicken. She likes Miracle Whip. Don't you? She was tearing that. She, she, she grabbed a big chunk of that tartar sauce. I didn't think she was going to do it. 
No, that might that murder was good. Can't get enough, can you? No more for you. She bathes up in your mouth. <laughs> she liked, and she kept trying to get it, so she really likes Miracle Whip. Good for you, Luna. But she liked salmon. She did have the salmon since it didn't have a lot of salt on it. She uh, she ate the inside of that salmon, so she tore it. Oh, she tore that up. Luna, don't smack me with your beak. Oh, look at this. My eyeball, I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit... <sighs> yeah, this is closing up. Maybe the next vlog you see... It'll be a couple of days from next vlog, so this should be good. I heal up like Superman. But, okay. Well, let me get off here, download this, and tend to my eyeball and put some Visine or something in there, too. Go post stop recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you'll get a weekly newsletter. So, uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you, so I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and have a great day unless you meet other plans.